Anybody who doesn't know, tell the story of Charlie and uh, Cubby. Oh, man, that's crazy. This, uh, uh, in Uganda, there's a practice, witch, witchcraft, and these uh, witch doctors actually sacrifice little children uh, because they believe the head or blood or private parts have these magical powers. And so in the history of Uganda, and nobody's ever taken on a witch doctor because they're afraid of these guys. But right back to our beginning, what would your six, what if we weren't afraid anymore? And so uh, there was a little boy that got attacked by the head of all the witch doctors and he actually survived. And so I went to Uganda, their chief justice let us bring Uganda's first death penalty case. And we tried this case and Kabi goes away uh, to Lazira Maximum Security Prison, but the little boy is all torn up. A doctor at Cedar sinai Medical Center finds out about the boys and, and he calls me up and he says, Bob, you don't know me, my name is Randy, I can fix him. <laughs> I'm like, wow. buddy, you didn't hear what got cut off. You can't fix that. And he said, I'm the head of surgery here. I can fix him. And so I drive up there and I meet him and he starts drawing on a napkin, like what he's going to mm. do, which is way too much information. If they <laughs> right. find that at, right. at DFW, guys, I'm going to right. jail. Two, two guys drawing a yeah, private on totally. so, napkins. But I, I asked him how much would that cost? And he said, it'd be staggering, but I'll do it for nothing. And so I'm like, I'm in. So I flew back to Uganda. I found the kid. I went to court and became his legal guardian. And we flew back here for the operation. And on the way, Obama is the president. Mm -hmm. And we get a text message when we're in London. He says, we'd like to meet Charlie. Mm -hmm. And so we divert to DC and this kid that was standing in the bush two days before is now standing in the Oval Office. Reading, I've got him held up. He's reading the original Emancipation Proclamation. Wow. I'm telling little Charlie what that means. Well, one of the things that uh, we thought in this attack, that all of this stuff, because he's essentially a eunuch after the attack, and we thought all of this, uh, would, this would be the course of his life. Uh, and then it was about eight months ago, I think it's since the time I saw you last, took him in for x-rays and these two things we thought weren't there, they're actually there. Mm -hmm. And so two weeks ago, we went back to Cedar sinai they did an operation, he gets to be a dad. Wow. Is that